Hello everybody and welcome back to what I think is part three of building this journal using my new letters kit. Um, I have to say um, I'm getting very excited about this. Um, in the last video um, I was doing the binding and I've um, bound my signatures to these kind of tabs um, and then I said in the next video, so this one, um, we would then try attaching it to the covers because I needed to think about how uh, the covers were going to look. Now just like I did with the binding, um, I did kind of experiment this with one half so that I was sure with what I was doing for the half that you're going to see. So we're going to be working on Mary's half but before I do that I want to show you um, what I've done for Henry's half and then you'll kind of get the idea of what we're doing. So I've worked on the front cover for Henry's half and this is it and I must say I am so happy with how this looks. Uh, so this is the letter uh, that I typed up and inked up to look like a vintage letter. That was the first challenge for this month and that's how the cover looks without the letter in which I think still looks um, really really good but it's just nice to have that slotted in there. So that just goes in the front um, and I've tried to kind of layer it up um, because as I said my kind of vision for this is it was supposed to look like almost like a hot mess really. It was supposed to look all kind of like rough and like full of papers and envelopes and stuff like that. So um, I think it's actually coming together probably even better than how I imagined it. So I'm really really happy with this. Um, so yeah, so I've done lots of layering. I've got some bits um, of papers and things stuck behind. I've got some fabric. Um, I've added some bit down the bottom as well. Um, and then using the words that came with my kit, so that's this one. But then as I showed in a previous video, I also had some sticker sheets that had words and phrases on. So I've kind of been mixing and matching to just try and create some quotes. So there is nothing like a dream to create the future. And obviously he's dreaming of Mary and I actually found the word or the name Mary rather um, on one of those sheets. We've got one of the tickets that I made in a previous video as well. Um, some of my faux washi tape that's in the kit. And yeah, I've just had fun layering it up. So how it's attached, I've then glued it to uh, the inside of the cover. And I've brought out the big guns for this because most of my gluing has been done with the Belly Art Precision Glue, which, don't get me wrong, is a very strong glue um, and it does hold really, really well. But because this was a cover and obviously it's the spine, I wanted it to really hold. So I have been using my Beacon 3-in-1, which is a smelly glue. I don't like using it too often because it does sort of stink the house out. And that's the first thing my husband smells when he comes home. Um, but yeah, the big guns had to come out. Um, also, because I was paranoid and again I didn't want anything falling apart, I did punch some holes and I had to, again, because it's quite heavy duty, bring in the big guns, the Cropodol 2. So this is the big bite, so it's got the really far uh, reaching mouth. Um, and I've punched holes and eyelets, so obviously if the fabric's back here, that's also holding the fabric in place. Um, now I'm thinking I might put some string through here, um, again, just to kind of make it look like parcels or whatever um, just to kind of add some decoration as well but yeah that's what I've done for the cover uh, I'm just going to pop that letter back in there and then um, I haven't gone through I still need to go through and just add extra ephemera and I still need to put all the ribbons and things in here but you can see that it lays nicely it's still quite flat which I really like and that helps with this spine because it's on tabs it is quite loose so at least it's got that maneuverability uh, so it can lay flat so if you are writing um, it is still nice and flat uh, we've obviously got the envelope flip and the final signature again I haven't added anything to it yet um, I have glued down my envelope that's in the center I have done that already um, but yeah, nothing else has actually changed. And then obviously this is where we come to the back. So because this cover is bound to Henry's half and Mary's half, it has got obviously double the eyelets. Um, so again, I'm probably going to have some string in here. So again, it looks again a little bit parsley. Um, just to kind of decorate where those eyelets are. 
um, but yeah if you can see it from Mary's side that's how that cover looks so um, I'm going to show you then how I've done this with Mary's front cover um, so before we stick the cover on we just need to get everything in place and I've done it very similar to Henry's side so Henry obviously has his picture of Mary uh, she has her picture of Henry there I couldn't find the name with Henry though that was a bit disappointing I, I think there was a Howard and something else but not a Henry um, but again she's got her letter again I've used some of the words from the kit and then the ones from the strip so the love within my heart because obviously he's her love hers obviously looks a little bit more sort of feminine I've added some lace some of the flowers um, again I've added some of the tickets the leaf just to kind of again sort of tie them together uh, they're those little faux paper clips I really love those I think they're so cool and I did add one on his actually um, and he's got one of the black clips uh, on his too so yeah so that's going to get stuck on there um, the only thing I have to do before I stick this down though is um, that last eyelet I have to punch before I stick this section down um, otherwise it goes through the envelope and then I obviously can't get my letter in so that's why that one's kind of been covered by my envelope but these two are visible so you can see these two so I've got to do the same for this one so I'm just going to move this out of the way so that we can get this ready so I'm going to turn this over this needs to get stuck down whoops first so I have already inked around the edge it has already been trimmed down to size so that's just got to get stuck onto there uh, for that I am just using the Belly Arts glue because like I said it is a really strong glue so it does hold really really well oh actually no before I've got to get the tabs on haven't I there's me gluing that into place we don't want to do that yet So ignore that, we're not going to do the cover because before we do we need to get the tabs stuck on. So again it's going to go this way. Now it's a little bit tricky um, because um, I obviously need to try and line it up. So I am going to turn the journal this way and obviously it's not laying flat. So I, I'm literally eyeballing it. Now I know that there is obviously going to be some of the flowers showing on this side. Um, and I will have a little bit of the tabs showing on the other side. So that's kind of where I want it to go. Uh, but it is all about eyeballing it. So I'm just going to flip that over for a moment. Um, I'm going to... So I don't want the signatures kind of laying like that. I want to kind of push them so that they are all lined up. And then using my Beacon 3-in-1... I'm just going to apply glue along the tabs. Okay, so just a square of glue on each of them. And then just to make sure nothing seeps through onto my paper, I've got this strip, which I'm just going to slot under there. I'm just going to pull these straight for a moment. And then I am going to have to turn it for this bit because I do need to kind of look from above. Make sure everything's up. So that's the top. The lace is at the bottom. Okay, and then I just push it down and hold it in place for a moment. Now if you've used um, Beacon 3 and 1 before you know that it doesn't take too long really to dry. 
and it doesn't matter if it also see is still a bit wet so I'm just going to open it out okay so all I'm going to do is just push it from the other side just to really make sure that that's all flat and pushed down and as I said the Beacon 3 one probably would be strong enough to hold this I just wanted the eyelet in there just to really make sure that it wasn't shifting anywhere so now I can come back and actually glue this And again, just to really make sure it's flattened down, I just turn it over and push down. right okay so I can get rid of that one now um, I'm going to turn it this way again just because it's easier then using my ruler um, I want to come roughly half an inch in so around this kind of level and again doesn't have to be absolutely exact I'm certainly not fussed anyway um, I'm then just going to hold my ruler so it's reasonably straight across there and then I'm going to eyeball where the middle is of my piece of fabric and I'm just going to place a little dot and do the same on the next one and do the same on the last one okay I'm now going to punch my holes so using my big bite now again I know you're not gonna be able to see this from the camera and I'm just lining it up as best I can and I think this one is much more heavy duty I'm sure you can get through thicker uh, materials with this because obviously I've got book page here plus um, the scrapbook paper that's on here and obviously the material as well the fabric so it punches so well okay so that's that bit I then want to bring this back in I'm just going to take the letter out for a moment um, and then I'm just going to position this where it's going to go when I glue it down so about there and then I'm going to clip it into place so it doesn't move I'm then going to open it up and ignoring the bottom hole because as I said that will interfere with the envelope and I won't be able to get my letter in I'm just going to kind of draw my circle whoops and color in where it needs to be punched so I can take that off and this is where I'm going to punch for that I am just going to use my normal little crocodile so I just line up where I have drawn those holes okay so now I need to set the bottom eyelet uh, before I do the others Now I have a few different eyelets now they are different sizes so if I kind of show you these two which might be a bit difficult to see on the camera but you can see that this one has a kind of taller piece here which means it's obviously going to reach through deeper material so it's the tall ones that I want for this because obviously it's get, got to get through all of that. 
Um, don't ask me where I got these from. I don't know. They're quite possibly just some cheap ones I got off of Amazon. Um, but they came with different depths. And that's what I need. Yep, so they're the tall ones. Right, so that's three of those. Okay, so I'm going to set the bottom one first. So again, I'm just going to flip it over. I'm just going to make sure it's pushed in. Um, and you can see that it's only just sort of coming through the other side. If I had one of the other ones, then that wouldn't come through at all. So I'm going to line it up again with my proper dial, which I know you can't see. And then that just presses it into place. Right, then before I set the other two, I'm going to stick this down. Now again, I'm going to use the Beacon 3-in-1 because this is the front cover, because this does get obviously touched and stuff a lot, I need it to be secure, so I am going to use my Beacon again. Uh, like I said, it's not that the belly arts, I don't think, would give a strong hold. It's just that I know that this definitely does. Um, and I want to be sure that it's going to hold. So I'm going to line it up with those holes, one and two, and give it a good press down. I'm actually going to flip it over so I can push from this side. And while I'm doing that, put the glue back on the beacon, because otherwise that kind of erupts like a volcano. I'm sure there's a trick to stop doing it actually. I'm sure I've seen somebody else on a YouTube channel explain there's a method to stop it from erupting. Something about the air in it. Right, okay, so again, it will dry very quickly, but we can still get the eyelids in. Now I am just going to lift that up slightly. Then we repeat. So I'm sorry, I know this is difficult for you to see. Yeah, oh, that one didn't do it very well. Gonna have to get that one out. That one just bent up. I knew I didn't have it in the right place. It didn't look right. Okay, let's set the other one and then I'll get that one out. That's better. Yeah, that one wasn't in the right place and I could see that actually. So I'm just going to get that one out. that pushed that one back out but yeah it just that was not right it didn't look like it was connecting properly all right so let's find another one of those
And let's try that again. That's better. Okay, so there my eyelets all in. So I'm really happy with that. All we need to do is pop that letter back in. Oops. Okay, so we've got her letter and his side. Really love this. Must admit, um, I have many ideas when I'm doing my projects and I don't know if it's because when I was designing the kit, this was the project I had in mind. Uh, the fact that it's turning out looking like this, um, it's yeah, just as I imagined. So I am super, super happy with this. So very happy. Right, I think I'm going to maybe grab some string and then we can decorate these a little bit. Okay, so I've got a couple. I've got this one, which is a beige one, which I thought might be nice for her sides. And then I've got this kind of rough green one, which I thought might be good for his side. So let's just have a little play, shall we? And see how this even looks. It might turn out really rubbish, in which case we just chop it off. But I'm just gonna cut a length and we'll see. Beginning to think I needed a longer piece of string. That's okay, isn't it? Okay, just adds a little something something on the front. And then we've got string there. I know we haven't got anything in that one, but that's fine. Yeah, I quite like that. Right, so that's hers. And then for him, like I said, I was going to use this one. I'm just going to move the letter over a little bit. So one at the bottom, one at the top, So here's I'm thinking, would you have a bow or would I just snip? Does that look weird? Does it need to be shorter? Let's try it shorter. If not, we'll go with a bow and I'll just cut another piece. Oops. that kind of needs to be a bow let's get rid of that and try that again
Okay, so that's his side. That's her side. Um, and then we've got the middle section. So it's just thinking about what we're going to do here. So I could like crisscross it. Yeah, let's let's try that. So I'm just going to grab a really long piece. It's going to be ridiculously long and longer than we need. So I'm going to poke that one through there. That one through there. Yeah, this is ridiculously long. It did not have to be this long at all, this string. That one through there. Oops. Ah. Okay. So I've got one coming off the back, one coming out the front down here. I'm then going to get this one again. Longer than it ever needs to be. I'm going to do the same. So that's going to go through there, through this one, and back in through here. Excellent. I'm then going to tie. I'm just going to make a knot to begin with, actually. Nope. Maybe because it's difficult because I need to tie the knot in the other side as well. Right, so that side's got a knot. Let's flip this over. We should now be able to pull this tight. Oh, look at that little piece of string I've left myself. That wasn't what I was planning. Oh, that's so annoying. So now that it's all nice and tight, I'm going to try with a little piece of white string that I left myself, create a little bow, Ooh, not too bad actually, and snip, and flip, Yeah, I think so. Right, so a bit of string there, and then when we get to the middle, what's quite nice about this? Okay, I've got the spine that I'm going to use, but this could be almost like a belly band, little kind of tuck spot, and then it will be the same on the back of her side of the journal as well. So at the top here, I mean, you could obviously slide something in that way as well, but that's yeah quite happy with that right okay well there's my journal finished for now um, I think that's going to be it for this video now obviously everything is bound and ready pretty much the only thing I've got to do is just some last sort of final bits of embellishing um, I've got a few different bits and pieces uh, left so I've got some of these tickets that can go in places I've got my faux washi tape I've got those words as well that I kind of want to scatter here and there just to kind of add something else uh, to this journal. I've still got pockets and things that need to be filled with different bits and pieces as well. So um, I think that's my next step. That's what I'm going to be doing uh, now. Um, I'm also looking to sell this journal. However, this time I'm not going to be popping it onto Etsy. Um, only because I don't trust Etsy at the moment. They've messed up a couple of orders when I've um, posted things out. Um, they've lost tracking info and that messes around with my star seller status. So yeah, I'm not trusting Etsy 
with this um, so I will be selling it another way possibly I'll post it up on Facebook or Instagram and then people can message me if they are interested but I am really loving how this has turned out um, I'm a little bit sad to see it go actually because I have thoroughly enjoyed building this putting it together it's something new for me um, like I said I have done a dosi -si do journal but because my pages are wider than my my cover um, and I've got like the envelope flip and things in there as well and I think the last time I did one of these it was just a single signature either side so that made it easier um, yeah I had lots more to kind of think about with this one but as I say I thoroughly enjoyed doing this it was a great little project um, and just yeah the finishing touches to go well thank you very much to everybody that has been following along as I said I hope that I have explained my steps and why I've kind of done things a certain way uh, well enough that you perhaps could follow along if you wanted to try this yourself I only have the finishing touches to do and then I will be back with a flip through and I'll explain uh, like I said exactly how and where I'm going to sell it that's all from me today. Thank you very much and I'll see you all in the next crafty video. Bye for now.